the subscription model, which you guys are focused on with TAP. And certainly there are a few different players that are thinking very strongly about this area, but you guys are getting a lot of early attention uh, because of some of the, the personality back channels that you have. Sarah Palin, I think in the last 24 hours or so, Herman Cain. Um, tell us about sort of the evolution of TAP. Yeah, so my partner and I, John Klein, um, we both left big media companies about three years ago. And uh, as opposed to going to play in a space that we had been in for the last 25 years, uh, we decided we wanted to try something different. Um, I was at the table when, when Hulu was created. Um, I made one of the first uh, Netflix deals. So I was very intrigued by uh, over-the-top subscription platforms. Clearly, uh, we couldn't compete at that level. Uh, you need billions of dollars to really do it successfully. Uh, so we, we thought, you know, we, we, we saw uh, a news personality that, that John and I were both familiar with uh, because we worked with him in the past, Glenn Beck who left Fox and went and started his own over-the-top subscription channel, and within about a year had almost 250,000 subscribers paying $10 a month. And that to us was a very intriguing business model versus the advertiser-supported model. Uh, you need about, uh, you know, it, it varies widely, but if you just use averages, you need about a billion hits to generate, a billion page views to generate about $3 million in revenue. You need 30,000 subscribers to generate three, to, to generate the same amount. So we thought if we're going to go into a space that's very crowded with a lot of very successful, wealthy competitors, let's try to find a space that's a little bit different, where the model's a little bit different, and there's not as, it's not as crowded. And so that's how we decided to form TAP and launch individual channels for individual personalities that have super fan followings. I'll, I'll ask you the reaction question too. The reaction around town, um, What's it been like? The town has been, you know, it's interesting. Just within the last six months, I would say, OTT, over the top, has been on everybody's lips. And everyone's talking about over the top. When we were out trying to raise money about a year, a year or so ago, a year and a half ago, there was a lot of skepticism. So I think as what happens in this business lately is things move so quickly, something that's out of uh, not interesting a year ago is all of a sudden very interesting six months later. And so we happen to ride the wave of over the top becoming very, very popular. You see Peter Chernin launched, you know, with, with AT&T la are launching their over the top uh, platform. Uh, clearly, you know, the success of Netflix in the last two years has just been astounding. I mean, it's probably the most desired media company uh, in town.